not an uncommon sight in the rural areas of the Eastern Cape. Dilapidated roads are leaving motorists and business people frustrated. One entrepreneur from Coffee Bay says he has lost suppliers who refuse to travel on this road. Its bad state is also affecting tourism in this area. In this area where we are, um, we are absolutely dependent on tourism. Almost everybody that has a job here in Coffee Bay is because of tourism. Um, if, if you had to travel, travel to Johannesburg, you're going to see a lot of mines and people have got jobs because they work on the mines. If you had to travel to a place like uh, Port Elizabeth, you're going to see a lot of motor car uh, uh, manufacturing plants like Volkswagen and people work there. But yeah, we've got nothing. Tourism is our mine here. People working in Coffee Bay are also affected. A lot of the people when they arrive to Coffee Bay after having gone through the long road and the bad road with the potholes, um, they do tend to come to, to arrive here already unhappy and already dissatisfied. And more so, some of them will even say it's not even us, the hotel or the establishment. It's the road getting here. And we, we tend to get a lot of cancellations. We tend to get a lot of people cutting their stay short or even not arriving at all. Visitors to Coffee Bay are shocked at the state of the road. I went to Mtata to buy a tire. It's bad. There are accidents because of this road. It's not that we are reckless drivers, but the condition of the road. I didn't know I was going to take such long hours to get here and arrive at this time, but I left home early. I think it took me four hours from Kanduli to get here. The roads agency, Sandra, is responsible for repairs to the road. The agency has put 68 million rand aside for this project. Sandra immediately started with the filling of potholes and concurrently uh, embarked on an emergency procurement process. And that process culminated in the appointment of Rainbow Civils as the main contractor to deal with the, the emergency repairs of this roof. And indeed, that appointment was effected with effect from 1st of November 2022. Residents now hope the rehabilitation of the road will start in earnest this year. Nomzonele Mgoma, SABC News, Nkanduli.